guys so today I did want to start off by showing you guys a few of the new things I'll be using in today's tutorial uh, I went to Walgreens as usual please forgive me if I sound gross if you look in my last video Les was so sick and of course I got his cooties so now I am sick but I want to try to keep my talk throughs so that we can chat so I really don't want to do a voiceover so today you're just gonna have to deal with listening to me sound gross okay so ran to Walgreens I grabbed a few new things um, the first thing I grabbed was this matte uh, matte and poreless by Maybelline the fit me when I first started using makeup this is what I used and I feel like as I've gotten older my skin has changed a bit and I feel like this may actually work for me now so and the, the formula has probably changed as well so I'm gonna give this a go today see what we get hopefully it's the right color crossing my fingers I also found this at Harris Teeter this is the Dickinson's de-puffing eye gel with witch hazel caffeine and cucumber now I use witch hazel to tone um, it's all natural. I try to keep it as clean as I can possibly find it. So this one is a de-puffing eye gel. So I've been working like crazy. My day job has been running me ragged, okay? So hopefully this is going to help a sister out with these, you know, little puffs we got going on. So yeah, I guess let's jump into it. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so that we can get this eye look lit. Alright, so if you have not seen the Wild Thoughts video with Rihanna, Bryson Tiller, and DJ Khaled, you are missing out, okay? When the video dropped, I was shook. Rihanna kind of dropped her photos as the visuals dropped as well, and I could not believe the looks she had. So in the video, she had a teal look. I'm going to link the video below. Um, she had a teal look that was unbelievable so today I'm gonna try to do a play on that and hopefully I can pull it off y'all because I don't know I feel like I just don't know so with that being said let's go ahead and get started with that Dickinson's uh, deep puffing gel it comes in this cute little bottle here and ooh, a cute little pump so it says place small dots around the eye area and smooth it until thoroughly absorbed uh, on the spot radiance and can be layered all over layered over or under makeup so that's good so I guess it won't move my concealer hopefully I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger hopefully if I can get this little baby pump to work come on come on sister all right seriously you guys i literally just bought this now grant it was on clearance at harris teeter so don't read me oh there we go so that is what came out just a little something so i'm just gonna go under the eye i'm just gonna go ahead and kind of get that rubbed in that one pump was like holy serious okay and I'm just gonna use it for this whole under eye zone where I put my concealer and try not to get that into my eye and just let that rub in. And I'm just gonna kind of press in as well, kind of let my skin absorb that. Am I snatched yet? All right, and then I'm just gonna do the other side. I think I'm gonna take just a little less. That really was a lot of full pump. Which I'm not mad at because that means that little bottle is going to last me forever and a day if I just need a little. It does kind of feel like water gel. I don't know. It really feels very light, very watery I guess I would say. But it feels really hydrating. My under eye feels like, hello, we are awake. Which is actually one of the things this says. So you can see I'm just patting. I don't want to rub too much under there. I don't want wrinkles too early. All right. So with that on, I think we're gonna jump straight into eyes because that is what this look is about. So I'm gonna first jump into priming my eyes. 
All right, so I'm going to take this LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm just gonna go ahead and go over my lashes. This is in the color Natural. And we're just gonna throw this on the lid. A little something there. A little something there. And I love these because you can just squeeze them out. It's not too much fuss. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Morphe M334 brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend that onto the lid. This brush gives me all my life. Like, do you see how much coverage it allows my lid to keep? Like, seriously. This is why I use concealer instead of primers, especially the LA Girl. It's so thick, but it dries so fast. So you gotta move. So I'm obsessed. And then same thing on the other side, just be careful with your brow. Like I said, my brows are threaded, so I kinda just follow the line. Nothing too crazy. And blend, blend, blend. I know I look crazy, but hey, that's life. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this E22 of course, by Morphe. And I'm gonna grab my Tartlet in the Bloom in the color Charmer, right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my lids with that completely. Now that we're all set, we're gonna go ahead and move into the Morphe 35O, and we're gonna go ahead and, oop, and use this color here. And this is just a light teddy brown color. Um, I'm gonna use this as my transition for this. Now, this is the Morphe M330, super tapered. I just wanna nestle this. Even though I have hooded eyes, I wanna go a little below my crease. And the reason I wanna do that is because I need this to sit right below. I don't want this to come out into the brow. This is something I wanna keep down low and then smoke out at the end, okay? So just building up that transition. And I'm gonna be packing into both sides, almost halo eye style. And there's a reason I'm doing that, so just hang in there with me. I'm gonna do my next eye off camera because I want this process to be quicker for you guys. I don't want you guys to have to watch a 30 minute video every single time. So we can still chat, but I want this to be quick, easy, to the point. So I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so now that I've had the other eye done, this is a very light base. This is my transition color because I don't wanna go straight in with any of the darker colors that I already have. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump into my second edition BH Cosmetics palette, which you guys know I love. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into this uh, nice teal right here. And we're gonna go ahead and just use the same brush that we just went in with that brown. That's the Morphe M330. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start doing the same motions that I did with that transition. I'm gonna go up and down on the very edge, like I said, keeping it very low. So if you guys can see that, right into that corner. Lightly over the center, and then into the corner of your eye, not touching that center piece. You see how that has no color? Not touching that at all. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna continue to build that color up to my liking. I want this look to be seamless and well blended, so it's gonna take a lot of time, a lot of blending, a lot of packing color on color, um, but it's all worth it in the end. All right guys, so I'm gonna switch brushes to the Morphe 433. This is a white bristled brush. I got a little hair there, <laughs> if you can see it. Um, and this is a little more dense, so hopefully this will help me pack that color on just a little more heavy. 
Um, the other brush was great to get in the crease, but I don't feel like it was getting in there with enough color. There we go. So that's giving me just a little bit more payoff, which is exactly what I'm looking for. And what you can do is with that softer brush, after you go in with the dense one, you can go ahead and follow right behind it with that same fluffy brush and go ahead and make your lines seamless, blended, and not looking too choppy. All right, moving on with that same Morphe 433 brush, I'm gonna go ahead and go into this blue. This is more of a navy blue. If Zooming into the pictures, you can't tell whether, whether it's an emerald or a deep teal. So I'm gonna try to get somewhere in the middle because I love the contrast. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna just use that blue, coat the brush, go into the same exact motions. And all we're doing, guys, is building up color. Continuing to build up color. All right, so as you can see, I've built up the blue on both sides keeping the center untouched. Now with the same brush, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump into this uh, emerald green right here. I don't know if you, let me see. Can you guys see that? It's an emerald green right here and it's stunning. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into that one. And guys, same thing. Head into that and you're just gonna top it with that emerald green. The emerald green is a lot darker, which I love. We're slowly smoking this eye all the way out. Okay? And I'm gonna... Con all right guys, and I'm gonna switch brushes to the M330 and continue to go in with that deep, dark emerald green. And like I said, just nestle it into the corner. And we're gonna slowly make this nice and smoky. Alright guys, so as you can see, I have the emerald green and the blue kind of laid on top of each other and smoked out. What I want to do is go in with this color tattoo eye chrome in the color electric emerald. And what I really want to do is hopefully go right into the center. Comes with a cute little doe foot. I'm just going to hit right into the center of that eye. all the way into my crease I'm gonna go in with a second layer because I want it to be blending in okay right into the center and what I want to do is go ahead and go in with that same M433 brush and we're gonna go ahead and start to blend that out okay Go ahead and just start to move that. jump into going ahead and working on the face now she was super duper glowy bomb looking like yes so I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Paris magic Lumi, which I love and I usually do this when I'm doing light makeup um, or more everyday makeup because I like to be look really healthy and glowy I will do my nose with my finger, but with the other ones, I'm going to go ahead and use this Luxie Precision Foundation Brush, which I love, and I just go ahead and pat this in. and 
jump into this matte and poreless in the number 228 soft tan. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna go on the back of my hand. I wish it had a pump like everything else. Straight in with my blender. Hopefully this is a match. I'm gonna say compared to neck, that's a yes. And guys, little do you know, I went to the Walgreens with Lester, of course, and I swear, this is the like second foundation Lester color matches for me that is like perfect. All right, moving on. You guys know my holy grail, the Revlon Color Stay. I can't live without this. I just can't. It's just not possible. And yes, we're gonna do it. We're gonna snatch ourselves today, y'all. I haven't done like really heavy makeup since the summer started. Guys, North Carolina is just way too hot. It's just too hot. I can't. It's humid. It's hot. Literally, no matter how much I set this makeup, I will walk out the door and feel like a melting pancake. And honestly, I ain't got time. Like, I just don't have the time. Or the patience. I love makeup. I'm all for a cake face anytime, any place, any day. But I just can't deal with feeling cakey all day. I can't do it. So I'm going to go back with that Morphe 334. And we're going to go ahead and start to stipple that. And lately I've been using a brush first. Um, I feel like it just blends everything out a little. See how seamless that already is looking? And I haven't even touched it with a beauty blender. And it helps me be a little more neat with my application. So I love that. And we're just going to hit all those areas. Give us that light we're looking for. Now I am going to go in with some contour, I do want to be super bronzy, so don't let the, the highlight fool you, I'm going to be snatched. first it's like my number one secret into the side up the nose forehead and thank gosh for this today because I'm giving you you know island vibes I'm feeling my Trinidadian floating around so with that being said thank gosh for this because it's already cutting my forehead so we ain't gotta do much all right I'm all blended out I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in Almond, which I love. You guys know I love this so much. And today we're just going to try to go in. Okay. We're going to go in and give Lita some darn color. Okay. in with my if I can find it 
with my dual fiber brush and this brush has been rolling with me for so long this is a small stipple brush but it kind of you know it's kind of dual fibered and this I love this is by elf the small stipple brush and this has been years years from when I first started makeup to now so what I do with this is I go in circular motions flick up and start to warm up my skin you see that it looks so natural super natural super pretty and the same thing with my contour as my highlight I'm still gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend this out I don't want this to look harsh or choppy or anything like that but I do want my face to be very bronzed and very pretty so it's gonna go ahead with the opposite side that I use for my foundation I'm just gonna start to blend that into the skin just small little bounces same thing on the other side So as you can see, now it's 100% seamless, which I'm loving. Okay, and what I want to do is go ahead and set the under eye. I'm leaving my nose contour to let it get a little dry. If you know what I mean, then shouts to you. I just want the stick to, the stick to kind of sink into my skin so that it doesn't get muddy because I hate a muddy nose. So, while that's happening, I'm going to go into, you already know, my Milani Powder Foundation in Golden Beige. As you can see here. I'm going in with my Morphe 438. I'm just going to go ahead and set that under eye. So we're not cracking. Set, set, set. And I just do pats, guys. I don't want to sweep. So little pats goes a long way. Pat, 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 pat. Look at that. Beauty. Same thing on the other side. I will not lie, guys. I mean, I looked in my small mirror to see if I needed to touch up with my beauty blender. And I didn't. My creases were like, bye, girl. So maybe that Dickinson puffing, de-puffing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pinch my sponge and go ahead and get that nose contour nice and blended out. Loving you has been on my mind. Don't need a rush, we got all night. The same brush we were setting and the same color, that Milani powder foundation. I'm just gonna brush gently down the center. I wanna set that light strip. And I kind of want to set that contour, but I don't want it to be muddy, so I'm going in with the lighter shade. I want this to look like a shadow. I don't want it, you see that? I don't want it to be harsh. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab the darker of my powders, which is the Caramel by Milani. And I think I'm just going to grab like a really fluffy brush today. I, I'm not, I don't have any special place this needs to go. This is a M551, super fluffy. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my contour. Okay, yes. And give me my color back. Like I said, Re was somewhere tropical. Maybe she was in LA, but somewhere. I was just picturing like Cuba vibes. All right, I love that. All right, I'm gonna move into some blush. I should've just made this like a one brand tutorial. I have Milani foundation. I'm gonna use this Milani baked blush in Luminoso, which is kind of like peachy, beautiful vibes. And I'm gonna use this E48 brush. Apples of the cheek, hug contour. And look at the sheen. So nice. I love this blush so much. I've used it for probably the past three years at the least. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face. 
I'm gonna pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I went ahead and I popped on my lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and go over them with the Colossal Big Shot. You already know what's up. I'm, I think I want to go ahead and just add a lot of mascara to my lower lashes. I love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, last thing we're going to do is go ahead and do our lips. In the video, she had red nails, so we had to do that. And she also had red lips. So I'm gonna do a throwback and go to this Gerard Cosmetics liquid lip, and it's in Immortal. This is their Hydra Matte. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on. You guys know I don't do lip liner. Go ahead and use this M505 and I'm going to use a little bit of my Milani Sun Glow and then a little bit of my Wet n Wild in Precious Petals which I also love and I'm just going to take this really tiny brush, see how small it is, and I'm going to go right into the top try and fix my mirror here y'all so I can see right into the top that crease and we're gonna go ahead and blend those edges out yep that's about right and right into that space we had up there and I think I even want to go in and use this brush this is the E18 and I just want to give that inner corner some love. Yeah, I think I do want to do that. Open that eye up just a little bit. And I'm using that Milani highlighter just to open it up. We're going to keep going because there's no hope for us to just stop. I'm going to go in with that Precious Petals, like I said. And we're going to add even more glow. And same thing on the other side. To the nose, upper lip. Alright guys, so this is my final look for the Rihanna Wild Thoughts inspired video. Um, I really, really love this look. I don't know who said red lips and emerald green eyes go together, but whoever did, I am deceased, okay? I love this look. I love how it came out. I hope you guys did too. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe, send a friend, share it, hit me up, let me know what's up. If you guys want to see more looks like these, comment below as well. I love doing things like this and I love being inspired by music videos because I love music so so much. So like I said I will see you guys next time. As you already know here comes all the slow moves. Through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays and Through the highways And the